Some of the more powerful emerging trends in the building information process or BIM process is to be able to take the architectural model of the building and repurpose it for the use of various types of analysis. For example, to give the model to a structural engineer and the structural engineer takes that in and, and designs and places their structural elements, uses the structural model to do various types of, of analytical studies, both seismic and uh, the sizing of beams and, and structural members is a very important trend in the in the BIM process, but the ability to do that all in 3D is, is emerging very rapidly. The ability to do solar site analysis is another great aspect of, of being able to take that 3D architectural model and site it, place it right on the site, and understand where the sun's coming in, how the, how the sun plays on that building during the seasons, watch where the shadows are cast in the building to be able to understand how solar gain is going to heat and cool that building very important part of the design process. Energy and thermal analysis to be able to take the 3D model, upload it to a file server that can analyze that building from the point of view of whole, whole building energy analysis and give you back a report and give you a bottom line figure on how that design is going to react during the life cycle of that building and be able to compare one scheme with another in terms of real life cycle analysis can help the architect and designer make some critical decisions about how energy is used or how energy is going to be saved within that building. Lighting analysis, another very important trend to be able to project light cones down on the floor to see how we can balance our lighting in 3D. The ability to do acoustical analysis, to bounce sound around to make sure that that our, our, um, our auditoriums and our schoolrooms have, have the proper acoustical properties. This can all be done in 3D. Another trend that's, uh, that's emerging is the use of the 3D BIM model during the management phase, using it as a facilities management environment so that various owners can uh, manage their assets between construction and the wrecking ball. City planners are jumping on the BIM bandwagon and being able to model entire cities or portions of cities in 3D in order to visualize how, how the city uh, will evolve is a very important part of the BIM process and then wed those models with GIS information to get the mapping information in there so that uh, the process of city planning is, is made richer and, uh, and more beneficial through the use of, uh, of the BIM model. Virtual shredding is another trend that's happening uh, very rapidly here around, uh, uh, around the U.S. and around the world. A uh, gentleman by the name of Kimon Onuma, FAIA of Onuma Inc., has been pioneering what he calls BIM storms. BIM storms are rather like shred brainstorming sessions, but rather than do it in a conference room, it's done around the computer from multiple places around the world. So this allows multiple people to participate uh, in real time in an intense planning charrette session anywhere in the globe. Code compliance and plan checking. The city of Singapore has been pioneering this effort. I believe that there'll come a time when we'll be submitting our building projects not on paper but via a 3D model. So intelligent expert computer systems will analyze the model for code compliance, give us back a report and, and we'll be able to flag the model in 3D areas where we're not meeting code compliance or um, we have some, some, some problems uh, structurally with our building. So if you can imagine, rather than a list of plan, a plan checklist and paper, a model returned to us redlined in 3D. Another aspect of BIM that, that's becoming uh, utilized for governmental buildings, especially in large, uh, large attractive uh, buildings that, uh, that uh, terrorists might be interested in uh, taking down. The whole process of threat analysis is being, being uh, utilized using the 3D model. So you can take a 3D model of a building and simulate the possibility of, of some type of an explosion and, and analyze how that building is going to react to a threat or, or an explosion and redesign that building accordingly to minimize that type of threat. And another very important trend that's happening to take the 3D BIM model 
and be able to send aspects of that model straight to fabrication. So people that, that, that manufacture various parts of the building from the steel to the mechanical systems, those systems can go directly to fabricators and in 3D the fabrication machines can actually build those parts of the building. So these are the trends that are emerging in the building industry very, very rapidly, all because of the power of the BIM process.